It's time now for our weekly County Connection segment. This week, El Paso County is trying to find better ways to utilize the Tornillo Board of Entry. Leaders from both sides of the border met to come up with new solutions already this week. And to tell us more about that meeting is County Communications Manager Laura Gallegos. Hey, Lauren. Hi, Ian. It's great to be here. Laura, it seems like the Board of Entry is always in the headlines. Can you give us a quick history of what led up to this point? Of course, so since 2017, significant investments have been made to the Tornillo Port of Entry, and unfortunately, the numbers of crossings are very low. CBP has indicated that without significant growth in cargo and traffic, they will have to shift resources to other ports and will halt operations to Tornillo. The county met with stakeholders in late January and last Friday to find a solution. What kind of growth is the port needing for CBP to continue resources? Well, Ian, right now the port of entry is currently averaging about 20 to 30 truck crossings daily. CBP leadership have indicated that they want to see a growth of 200 crossings on the daily. Um, um, some things that we need to obviously put in place, like we, we have uh, some infrastructure on the U.S. side. Uh, they needed some offices um, on the U.S. side that the county has available to be able to lease. Uh, they needed a transfer station on the other side, on the Mexican side, and I think we're working with companies that are able to be able to provide uh, that kind of, um, of infrastructure to the trucks that are coming up for be able to transfer their cargo right now. So I think a lot of these uh, issues are slowly being remedied. Uh, however, the port of entry, it's, it's just very important to know that it has the capacity right now as it stands to be able to accommodate a lot more of that commercial traffic. Now, obviously, we want to make it more uh, viable and a, uh, and, and, a, and a good choice for the Mexican companies to be able to use it. So that's why we need to remedy these other uh, issues. Stakeholders have brought up security concerns, freight costs, and the need for a streamlined customs process. During these meetings, verbal agreements and commitments have been discussed to better resolve some of the concerns, but the conversation is still ongoing. Uh, because ports of entry are an ecosystem. You need uh, players from the local government on both sides of the border. You need ins inspectors on both sides of the border. You also need the users uh, to make sure that they express the best time frame for them to cross and uh, other things uh, such as uh, efficiencies in uh, security and in, in awareness. Well, it sounds like there is still a lot of work to be done. Yes, there is, but like I mentioned, the conversation is still ongoing and the county is committed to continuing to gather insight to enhance the port's users. All right, Laura, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back after this.